Hey guys, I'm Hester and you're watching Handmade Home. To celebrate the launch of my latest book, Pellet Wood Projects for Outdoor Spaces, I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite projects from the book. This is the new book. It came out on Tuesday the 9th of April and it's full of pellet wood projects you can build for your outdoor spaces. It's my fifth title already. And to help you build all these lovely projects, they all have very easy to follow step-by-step -step pictures. There's also a big technical section in the book, helping you with your tools and also how to source your pellet wood. But today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite projects from the book, these lovely letter planters. And you start with a piece of plywood. I'm using a scrap piece of a 9mm thick plywood here. And you're going to draw on a rectangle of 25 by 30 centimeters. Within this rectangle, draw out your letter shape. I'm doing letter K, but of course you can do any letter you like. Just make sure the sides of the letters are straight lines. I suggest you do some pencil. I'm using a pen to make it more clear for you guys. But as you can see, I was struggling a little bit to get the proportions just right of the letter. But with my safety glasses on and my gloves, it's time to cut out the letter with my jigsaw. And there we have one freshly cut letter K. Send all the edges nice and smooth with your sander. And then it's time to get the pellet wood. You're gonna measure all the sides. Well, this one should be 30 centimeters. You also measure the inside lines. And you're gonna mark these on pieces of pellet wood. And you're gonna cut them to size. I'm using my mitre saw, but of course you can use your hand saw as well. Keep measuring and cutting until you got all your outside pieces of your letter. I'm making sure the top bits overlap my inner sections. As you can see, you might have a little problem here because of the shape of the K. You can have a little gap in the middle. You might not mind this and just stick a flower there later. Or you can cut this at an angle, a 45 degree angle, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to measure how long this piece needs to be. Like I said, it's going to stay on the inside, so that's uh, nine and a half centimeters. And I'm going to cut this on a 45 degree angle. And using my mitre saw, it makes it very nice and easy. And I flip the piece of timber over, mark the nine and a half centimeter from the longest point of this cut. And this is going to be a straight cut. As you can see, it fits in really nice and snug now. Now I just need to do the other side. It's going to have another 45 degree angle cut on the inside. And on the top, it's going to be a nice straight cut. It's going to measure it again, cut it to size. And as you can see, it fits in perfectly. Some letters will be easier to make than others because the letter I made from a book, the H, just had straight corners. But yeah, everything is doable, and as you can see, this is all nice and cut now. It's gonna give the pieces a good sand, and it's time to attach them. You run glue on the side of your plywood, then you're gonna align your timber nice and straight, and you're gonna nail it in place. I'm using my nail gun. If you don't have a nail gun, of course you can use nails and a hammer too. And you keep going until you have all your pieces attached to the outside of your frame. And with my last piece in place, it's time to give the letter a really good sand. It's also a perfect opportunity to soften any of the corners that don't completely line up. With my letter ready, it's time to move on to the fun stuff. We're gonna fill it up with faux flowers. You're gonna cut the flower heads from the stems and with your glue gun, apply glue to the back of the flower and then simply stick it in place. I'm starting with the big flower heads and I'm moving on to smaller flowers. Besides flowers, it's also really nice to use leaves. It gives your planter a little bit more depth. And just keep filling it with flowers until you think your letter is ready.
loving these planters. Fill the faux flowers means can't kill them. Win win for me. <laughs> yeah, I made a H for the, the book, H for Hester, Handmade Home. A lot of H's in there, and I thought, let's make one for my partner. Then I realized, because his first name starts with an I, it will be a super, super boring tutorial for you guys. It will be just a rectangle. So I made a K. K for Kiki, my little baby, or Kermit, my little doogie. Then I might have to fight over this one. Maybe we'll just make another one, just to be sure. Yeah, the letter you make, just um, follow the tutorial and just adapt it to make the shape that you want. Rounded corners, of course, are more tricky to do. So if your uh, name starts with an O, just do like a digital version, like a, a big rectangle, a little hole inside. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up because it really helps with my ratings. And have a look on my website, hestershandmadehome.com for more craft and DIY ideas for your home. The book, Palletwood Projects for Outdoor Spaces, is out worldwide. So go to your local bookstore, if I don't have it, just ask them to order it in or have a look at that really big bookstore online. I'll be back soon with a new video and I really hope to see you then.